We're on lesson six of chapter four, which is scale drawings and scale models. So first we're going to find a scale factor, then we're going to use scale factors to find unknown lengths, and then we'll do a real world application. Scale factors are very important when we make models of things to, to help us build. For example, before constructing a building, usually a blueprint with a scale is, uh, is created so that way you, you build it proportionally. And there's usually a scale factor between the model and the actual thing. Here, 4 inches turns into 20 feet. So it would be 1 inch for every 5 feet. You see that? 20 divided by 4 is 5. Here I have 6 inches turning into 30 feet. Same thing. 30 feet turns into 6 inches, which would be a 5 to 1 ratio. So our scale factor here would be 1 inch to 5 feet. Let's identify a scale factor for this race car then. So we have the model race car here. We have the actual size here. What is that scale factor? When you find a scale factor, it should be the model to the actual size. So the actual size is on the bottom. The model is on the top. So for this one, we have the model being 11 inches long, the actual size being 132 inches long. So the scale factor would be 11 over 132 and then we should simplify this scale factor. I know these can both be divided by 11, so 132 divided by 11 is 12. So our scale factor is 1 over 12. Let's make sure it's the same scale for the height then. So the model is 5.5, the uh, height is actually 66. So we could divide both of these by 5.5 to turn the top one into 1. Let's see what that gets us. So 66 divided by 5.5 and there you have it. So this would be 1 and that would be 12. So our scale factor is 1 to 12. It's 1 inch to 1 inch so it would be a good thing to do 1 inch to 12 inches. You don't have to when they're the same. When they're different, it's really important to put that in there. But here, I did it anyway just to show you. Let's use a scale factor then. We have a photograph of René Magritte's painting, The Schoolmaster, has dimensions of 5.4 centimeters and 4 centimeters. So the scale factor is 1 to 15. Find the size of the actual painting. Remember what we said before, the model goes on top, the actual size goes on the bottom. So here the photograph would go on top, the actual size would go on the bottom. So the scale factor would be 1 to 15. So 1 would be the photo, the 15 would be the actual size. So let's find the dimensions of the actual size. So if this is the photo, that's 4 centimeters wide, how wide is the actual painting? We can use x to solve that. So 1 to 15 scale factor, 4 over x, and then let's do cross products to solve. 1 x equals 15 times 4. x equals 15 times 4, and 15 times 4 equals 60. So x equals 60. So it is 60 centimeters wide. And let's find out how tall it is then. We can use the same scale factor, 1 to 15. So the photo is the 1, the actual size is the 15. And then it is 5.4 centimeters tall, so the photo is 5.4 centimeters. So I'm going to line that up on the top with the 1, and the actual size we'll find for y. Let's cross multiply. 1y equals 15 times 5.4. So y equals 15 times 5.4. 15 times 5.4 equals 81. So y equals 81. So this painting is 81 centimeters tall. So you can see the actual size from using the scale factor. And remember the, the model or the photo here in this case goes on top and the actual size goes on the bottom. Let's use maps then. On a map of Florida, the distance between Hialeah and Tampa is 10.5 centimeters. This map scale is 3 centimeters to 128 kilometers. What is the actual distance d between these two cities? If this confuses you, this colon method, just change it into a fraction. 3 centimeters over 128 kilometers. It's the same thing. So don't let that bother you. 
And remember, it's the model on top, or the map in this case, and the actual distance on the bottom. Same scale factor. So if we're going to use that, we see that the 10.5 centimeters is the map distance. So we need to find the actual D distance here. So we'll, map, we'll line up the map with the map. So 3 centimeters is the map. 10.5 is the distance on the map. Then we'll find D, which is the actual distance. And we line that up with 128 kilometers, which is the actual distance um, in real life. And then we could just do cross multiplying. So we have 3 times D, 3D equals 128 times 10.5, and let's solve that. That's 1344, 1344, so 3D equals 1344, then we can divide both sides by 3. So 1344 divided by 3 equals 448. So the distance would be D equals 448, and we're going to say kilometers because the actual distance is measured in kilometers. So the map is in centimeters, the actual distance is in kilometers. So just a recap of how we did that, the scale was 3 centimeters to 128 kilometers, so the map is 3 centimeters, the actual distance is 128 kilometers, and then we lined up the map with the map, 10.5, and then the kilometers with the kilometers, or the distance with the distance. And then we cross-multiplied and solved.